Hello everyone, I'm Kentaro Yase at NTT Communication Science Laboratories FAST. I would like to thank all the people who have worked so hard to create this opportunity and I'm very honored to receive such a great award this time. Uh, it's a very tough time now, but I hope everyone is doing well and everything is getting better. So let's get to start. The title is Magnet Layer Force Field Fabrication by Layered Magnetic Sheets. This is Magnet Layer. By layering magnetic sheets that have simple magnetic stripes, complex geometric magnetic patterns can be created, and they can be used for tactile representations. In short, magnet layer is a fast and easy force field fabrication method for haptic interactions. First of all, the background. Making things have become much faster and easier than ever. We can create various kinds of things using 3D printers and laser cutters. And now, the framework for personal fabrication is still expanding. Researchers are exploring new ways to make the processes of making things faster and easier. Moreover, many prototyping methods aimed at reducing the time and cost have been proposed for not only shapes but also functional objects like sensors, actuators, and circuits. Besides, tactile technologies are no exception in this rapid prototyping trend. There have been many studies and prototyping methods and toolkits for haptic textures, vivid tactile interfaces, and tangible widgets. In particular, magnetic materials are very useful for prototyping tactile interactions. If a tiny magnet is attached to a finger or a nail, it can be used for finger position detection and also tactile presentation. Furthermore, if magnets are embedded in building blocks or 3D printed objects, they can be used as a tangible interface with tactile feedback. Among them, a previous research named Magnetic Plotter has enabled the prototyping of haptic interactions using inexpensive materials. Using the technique, just a pair of magnetic rubber sheets with specific magnetic patterns can provide unique haptic textures when they are rubbed together. And the haptic textures can be designed by the magnetic patterns. For magnetization, a strong magnet is used. When a neodymium magnet is applied to a magnetic rubber sheet, the position will be magnetized. However, manual magnetization is not suitable for making precise magnetic lattice patterns. In contrast, the magnetic plotting machine can magnetize specific patterns with precision. However, it takes much time to magnetize complex patterns like a checkered one. Therefore, there are limitations to the rapid prototyping of haptic interactions that use complex geometric magnetic patterns. For this problem, this previous study showed that an interference-like magnetic superposition can be generated by layering microscale magnetic pattern films. So we applied this magnetic superposition approach to the millimeter scale magnetic rubber sheets. Meanwhile, this manual magnetizer we developed last year can quickly magnetize simple stripes of magnetic polarities. When the magnetic seat is held down and straight over the magnetizer, a stripe pattern can be magnetized. Further, by turning the center disk, the pitch of the stripe can be changed. By using the manual magnetizer and stacking the magnetized rubber sheets, we solve the trade-off between the rapidity and the complexity of magnetization. However, if either magnetic seed is too thin or too thick, the superposed magnetic fields will not become a clear checkout pattern. To produce a clear checkout magnetic pattern, it requires a magnetic sheet of appropriate thickness. This is because the magnetic flux density around the magnetic sheets varies greatly depending on the thickness of the magnetic sheets and the pitch of the magnetic stripes. Therefore, in order to establish this magnetic superposition approach as a fabrication method, we have derived a basic formula that calculates the proper thicknesses of the magnetic rubber sheets. First, when magnetic rubber sheets are stacked, the magnetic fields of the lower sheet appears on the top surface of the upper sheet. Next, we divided the superposed magnetic sheets into three areas. An area where two spores are overlapped, an area 
where two end poles are overlapped, and the magnetic weakened area wherein the S poles and N poles are overlapped. Then, to simplify the magnetic calculation, we assume the patterned magnetic sheets as dozens of small cylindrical magnets. With the cylindrical magnets, the magnetic flux density on the central axis can be easily calculated. For instance, at a point where x millimeter away from the center top of the magnet with radius r and the thickness t can be estimated by this formula. Then, when two magnets are stacked, the magnetic flux density in the top center is the sum of the magnetic flux densities of the two magnets. At this time, if the direction of magnetic polarities are the same, strengthened magnetic fields will be displayed, and if they are reversed, the two magnetic fields will be cancelled and weakened. Applying this formula, the proper thicknesses to balance the magnetic forces of the two stacked magnets can be calculated with ease. For example, if the magnetic sheet has a 1 mm radius magnetic pole, that is a pitch of 2 mm, and the upper sheet has a thickness of 0.5 mm, the lower sheet must have a thickness of 1.5 mm to balance the magnetic forces. Based on the calculated values, we verified whether a checkered pattern can be created by overlaying the magnetic sheets. As you can see, when the upper sheet is too thin or too thick, distorted stripes are displayed. On the other hand, a clear checkered pattern can be seen with their proper thicknesses. Furthermore, we constructed this device to measure the actual magnetic flux density. The stacked magnetic sheets were fixed on the XY linear table under the Gauss meter probe. Then, the magnetic flux density was measured in 0.2 mm increments in a 10 mm square area. Here are the results. Since the magnetic flux leaks from the strengthened area to the weakened area nearby, they form diamond-shaped magnetic polarities. Thus, a 45 degrees rotated checkered magnetic pattern is generated. These results support that this magnetic superposition method can be used as an alternate way to create magnetic lattice patterns. Then, we compare this magnetic layering method with the magnetic plotter method. We prepare the same pitch checker pattern magnetic sheets using both methods and compare them. As a result, the biggest difference between the two methods is their speed. The plotting machine is accurate and automatic, but it takes seven times longer to magnetize. For magnet layer, Speed is a great advantage as a rapid prototyping method. Moreover, by applying this method, various magnetic patterns can be provided rapidly. The pitch, shape, and length to be this aspect of the lattice pattern can be designed by the pitches and the relative angle of the layered magnetic patterns. So, based on the results, we made some application examples that describe the characteristics of this approach. First, Large complex patterns can be fabricated with ease. Even magnetic patterns for floor, wall, or whiteboard can be quickly magnetized manually. For example, this is a smart snap whiteboard. Since the ruler snaps as if there is a physical grid, the user can draw parallel or orthogonal lines by using the haptic feedback. Second, another feature of this method is that different force fields can be superposed in one place. For example, when a small bristle board is placed on the two stacked magnetic sheets and the robot has magnetic strips at the tip, the robot goes through a particular path. Also, by changing the magnetic patterns at the tip of the robot, the robot traces a different path. This is an example of force field design. Furthermore, with a structure that allows the user to manually change the relative angle between the two magnetic sheets, the superposed magnetic pattern can be changed without remagnetization. Therefore, it is possible to change the haptic feedback and behavior without any power supply and remagnetization. Then, 
here are remaining challenges. First, by overlaying a curved pattern like a concentric circular pattern, the more complicated magnetic patterns can be generated. They indicate that the possibility of this method to obtain a wide variety of magnetic patterns. But the design strategy and usage of these patterns remain as future work. Another topic is related to the basic formula. For example, when a 6mm pitched magnetic stripe is magnetized on the upper sheet, the thickness of the upper sheet must be 1.73 mm or less. In this case, if the upper sheet is 0.8 mm thick, the best thickness of the lower sheet is 1.0 mm. However, the magnetic flux tends to increase with thickness. If we want a more powerful force feedback and choose a 1.73 mm thick magnetic sheet as the upper sheet, the lower magnetic sheet should be 69.3 mm. I think it would be difficult to prepare such a thick magnet and also magnetize it. A possible solution is to magnetize a number of magnetic sheets and stack them until the desired thickness is obtained. However, since all magnetic patterns must be exactly the same, the accuracy becomes more important. In this case, the plotting machine may be helpful because it can provide a number of sheets precisely magnetized, or it would be faster to magnetize the checkered pattern. There might be room for further research on how to combine magnetic method with the magnetic plotter method. I expect these two methods will complement each other. This is a summary. We propose a method for fabricating complex geometric magnetic patterns by overlaying multiple magnetic rubber sheets and demonstrated several haptic interactions using the magnetic force fields. Thank you so much.